Hi guys, it's Tony bringing you another quick no nonsense cooking review. Today we are reviewing two products. One, this is as the chopped tomatoes. You can see that if you can, yeah. And this is actually grown in Italy. You can see that there, a little bit gently. This is the back. Right, and that's what's in it. You can just see there. So you can choose before you buy, alright, and the other product is by Tesco, which is tomato, puree and garlic. So, we're going to put some of this in first. This is a vegetarian bolognese sauce that I'm making, or um, it's a vegetarian pasta sauce, I'm adding no meat at all, so any veggies out there, vegetarians, um, good for vegans, there's nothing in it. I'm also using coconut oil as well fry the vegetables so let's open this tin of chopped tomatoes by the way that's very nice because it has the garlic with it and you can see there flavors are really nice so let's add this okay that's what it looks like guys there it goes okay I'm going to turn that down now slightly too high So, why do I cook vegetarian rather than added meat? Well, there's two reasons. One, A, I ain't got no meat to put in it. <laughs> and the other reason is because I don't like to eat meat all the time um, because I don't believe it's uh, good for you. So if you can do a vegetarian, then that's really it's all the better for that. Right. So the other thing as well, I, I just put half a cup of water in there and all I'm doing is rinsing out the tin. So <clears throat> it'll go a bit runny to begin with but then it'll thicken up. At the moment I've put it on a three. The other thing I've, I've added as well to sweeten it up is traditional Barbados cane sugar and that just gives it a caramelly taste. The other thing I'm now going to add to it is Bramwell's tomato sauce. This is by Aldi. The good thing about these type of dishes is you can use up things like in the in around the house, you know, stuff like, oh, I've had this in a cupboard for six months, or I've had it that in a cupboard for a year. And it's like, that's exactly what pizzas are. They, they were originally made from just household cooking items that they just want to use. So what did they do? They, just, they created a dough base and just whacked all the ingredients on. That's a little bit of noise there, guys, for you. You probably knew that anyway. So what else can I put in there? So we've added all the tomatoey stuff. And I've also added some garlic. The other thing that I tend to add, if I can ever find it, is this covered hiding properly. See, you're not going to find me, don't you? No, I'm hiding. Anyway, basically, the thing I, I was going to add to it was Himalayan salt, but I can't find it. Anyway, I had some salt to it, and that turns out to it. There it is, it's hid behind the porridge holes. This stuff here. Just take about a pinch of that, it's give you a bit more. Now, Himalayan salt isn't as strong as conventional salt because it doesn't have bleaching agents in. You can find this in anywhere. I would recommend buying the already ground, you get more for it. This is 500 gram. The problem with the shake is it, the grinders is when you start grinding the heat hits the grinder and it causes it to get damp. That's what I've found. Just, you know. So we're letting that bubble away. Um, the other thing that I tend to add, not letting, these are Moroccan tomatoes. They're from Tesco. Nice and juicy, but make sure that you wash them before you cook them. Of course, all that was saying, didn't it? And the last but not least, some homemade wine. I'll drop that in because that gives it a little bit of kick. Not so much kick, just as, it's all flavoured. Um, and what I'll do with that now is I'll just literally let that boil up for another 15 minutes and I'll be back shortly, guys.
Okay guys, we're just waiting to finish for the pasta sauce to finish. A tip is I use a bit of um, oil on this. This is rapeseed oil. This is actually better for you, British rapeseed oil, but you can use olive oil, extra virgin olive oil, whatever you want. It just adds flavor to the spaghetti. I'm going to put that on now for a couple of minutes. All right, guys, this is pretty much done now. The thing that I used was coconut fresh oil, which is I just used coconut oil, which is like, all that does just, just, you break it off, it's like candle wax. And I also put some um, ground ginger. This is as the ground ginger, just gives it a little bit more spice. Okay guys, we are back now. We've even got a little candle going on. So you can see that uh, this just thickens up the time. So I'm gonna give you my honest opinion on this. This right, this spaghetti by the way was Tesco's own spaghetti which i shall show you now actually the one i buy is from this one just that and it's just it's 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 food and co but hearty food and co it's 20p guys but you get loads so i'm going to give you my honest opinion now take a look at that all i need now is a bit of parmesan which i didn't get but again good vegetarian really nice I can recommend the tomato from Asda's. I think it's really nice. It's got that Italian overview. Could have done with some herbs in the in the tomato. That's the only thing I'd say. If they'd added some herbs to it, um, it would have been a lot better. Maybe a bit of garlic, but again, uh, I'm just reviewing it. So thanks very much for watching, guys. And I've enjoyed your company. Hope you've enjoyed mine. And I'll catch you in the next one. Bye for now.